Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Native Framework Beginner's Tutorial and this is our part 10. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about some more points about database and also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coding Native Framework Tutorial. In the last video session guys, we had discussed about difference between raw query and regular query. So inside this video, if you back to editor. Now if I open about inside config folder, we have a file something called database.php. We had discussed a little about this file where we have made a database connection inside this query string something called hostname, username, password and the database. After making connection with the database, we have used and run our queries from our model as we have seen so far. So basically guys, in our previous video session, we had discussed about that is loading a database in two ways. Firstly, either we can load auto load by code igniter or by using manual load. So how can we auto load our database connection? So if you go to autoload.php, this is the file stored inside this config folder. Now inside this folder, if I scroll this file, now inside this file, we have a libraries array. Inside this library section, we have to pass our database. So something here, something called database. This is called auto load in code igniter. It means that no need to write or manual load what we have done here. If I remove that, it will work. So this is called auto loading of any library inside code igniter. So if I remove that, now we are not going to make the database connection auto load inside this application. We are going to manual load means we are going to load our connection manually inside any model of application. So basically for that we have to write this line this load and database. This will load that same database connection what we have seen so far here. After loading this connection inside model now we are ready to use something called D this DB instance. This is the instance by which we actually get by the help of this initialization. So these are the things guys, small small things that we need to keep in our mind before using our database connection. If I back to our database connection, now this is our connection inside this connection string. Now as we have seen our this is the connection name called default. Now inside this array, we have a keyword something called db prefix. What does it mean? If you go to database, now inside this database, as we can see that right now, we have only a single table, something called tbl underscore users. Now if you back to slide, open up a new slide. Now let's say that we have something tbl users. This is one of the table that we have made, something called tbl students, something called tbl books, something called tbl categories. So inside this database structure, as we can see that all the tables have a prefix something called table underscore. So if I write, so let's say that here we have table prefix, something table prefix and this is, so here tbl underscore, this is the prefix that we have added each of the table. So now we want to specify this prefix inside this db prefix. So if I write let's say tbl underscore prefix, it means that we are going to use any of the table inside our application with this prefix. So if I back to site model, now if I remove this tbl underscore from here, it will use the same table what we have supplied so far. So let's say that if I save this file, now inside this site controller, we have passed our data. So I think that we have used this is the method. Now we have used insert table data of site model. So back to site model and now this is the method. So let's copy the route and something we have site insert data. So copy this back here. Now if I open inside this let's index.php and if I press enter it returns 1. It means that the record has been inserted back to table, go to TVL users. Now the change the order by descending and this is the data I think that we have inserted back to editor, go to site.php and now this is the data. 
So what we understood from this point, this is the understandable point is that inside this default connection array, we have changed the db prefix that is something called tbl prefix, tbl underscore. It means that all the tables that we are going to use inside this application is contains a prefix called tbl underscore. It means that we don't need to write any of the table name in with something called tbl underscore. It would automatically use this table. But suppose if I pass this tbl underscore and if I try to insert any of the data inside table, then if I click on insert data, back to table, now reload this page, now the record has been inserted. It means that if we suppose supply the prefix, then it will check that the prefix is available or not. If it is available, it means that it is not going to attach this db prefix inside the table name. If suppose we haven't supplied that, then it will automatically attach with that. So both the conditions worked for our application. Next key have something called db debug. This is by default, its environment is not equal to equal to production. So if I back to site model and let's change that tbl users to, as we know that this table does not exist in our application. Back here, reload this page and we got an error, something about database connection error. It means that insert into tbl users to does not exist. This table does not exist, but remember, if we don't want to see this error inside this page, suppose we have made an application and inside that application we have some errors related with our database. We don't want to show all these messages to our clients. So how can we actually hide these messages? So back to error, back to our editor. Inside our database, by default db underscore debug is in production mode. It, this environment variable contains another value also. This is called the development. So let's say development. So if I save this file back here, reload this page and as we can see that the error has gone. It means that we got an error but we actually hide that error by changing this environment variable. So it means that we have two values for that. Either we can provide as development so let's say development, it is used to hide the error messages or we have something called production. So let's say that production. So if I copy this comment and undo this file first. So this is our production and I'm going to write this comment here. Now next, what we have the key. All we know about the host name, something called localhost, username, password and the database. This is what we have to set to connect with our database. This is the most important part because these are the credentials. Now this is db driver. It means that we are going to use called MySQL I. According to, accordingly, actually coding that application provides multiple drivers supportable to use inside our database connection. Something called PDO, something called Oracle, something called ODBC and many more. So if we scroll to top, now as we have two extra variables defined inside this data.base.php, what basically these variables are. As we have active group, active underscore group, it has a value called default. This is the connection variable name. It means that we are going to use an array which basically con contains the database connection variables. It means that if suppose we have multiple database connections, so what basically the active database we are going to use, this is connection name. Now what we have next. So before going to next point, let's say that if I go here and let's declare another database connection. So let's say that DB and let's say OWT and it contains an array. Basically this is another database connection string. As we have discussed guys that coordinator application supports multiple database connection at a time inside any application. So let's say that if I copy all these variables from here, scroll down, paste it here. Now let's change some of the variables inside this key. So something let's say localhost, username, password is okay and let's say that learn code igniter and this is underscore test. This is the another database we are going to use. So copy this name back here and let's say that if I back to our local host, create database. So I'm going to create a new database. So let's say learn coordinator underscore test. Inside this, 
let's say that TBL and something we have, let's say books. Inside this we have four columns, something, let's say ID, let's say name, email and amount. So again if I go here and make it as auto increment, let's say that it is primary key and all the rest values contains the null value. Back here, let's say that it is varchar, varchar and it should be varchar and this contains the size of 50 characters. So just make this table, go here and click on save button. So successfully we have created on another database, inside this database we have created a table tba underscore books which contains basically four columns. Now back to editor. Now inside this OWT, this is connection name. Inside this connection name, we have another database. Now this time, we are going to use this database connection instead of our old database connection. So I am going to copy this OWT, go to top and change it to something let's say active group equal to OWT. It means that this is the new connection group we are going to use. So if I go here, reload this page, now as we have the error inside insert data route, if I back to editor, inside go to site model, let's understand that why we are getting error. We have loaded our database. Basically this loads the database connection which we have set as an active group. Now OWT table means OWT connection name does not contain OWT connection name has the database called learned coding writer test. Inside this database we have no table something called TBL users or TBL users too. It means that it is giving error. Now if I change something let's say that instead of that let's say that TBL underscore books and inside this data if I back to controller let's say that what we have supplies as the keys we have called name email and the amount so let's name let's learn code igniter again let's email ci underscore gmail dot com and this is all about amount let's say that 120 so if i save this file also save this file back here reload this page Again we have some error something called unknown column phone number in field list. So back site controller instead of phone number we have to pass as amount. Reload this page. Now error has gone. It means that we have successfully inserted one single row inside this tba underscore box. Click on browse and this is the data. So successfully guys we can understand about that is in database if we change about the active group name. To OWT, it means that the default connection string of our code enter application loads about this DB loads automatically the connection string about what we have passed here. But remember, we want to use about the connection string default, or let's say that this is default. Now we want to use our OWT. So how can we use the multiple databases inside a single application? So for that. Again, if I change it to default, go to site model now, TBL books does not exist inside our default database connection string. So again back to browser, reload this page, we have some errors. Now we are going to use our database connection as OWT, not going as a default. So how can we load that? Back here, comment this line and if I go here, let's declare another variable something called private and this is our connection name something called OWT. Now I'm going to slice this variable. So let's say that this OWT and let's say that this load database. Inside this database, I'm going to pass the connection variable name, what we have supplied here. So here, we have the connection name as OWT. So copy this connection name, go here, load this page and the second parameter I'm going to pass as a true value. So now by the help of this OWT, we can access the, this database. So copy this, back here instead of this this dot db, again if I replace with this OWT, go to browser, reload this page, now as we can see that uh, Again, we have inserted one row inside this table. 
so successfully guys we can understand about that if I again copy the code this line this DB so this DB always refers that what default database we have loaded now this is our private connection we have made means we have used two database connections inside the same application this is another database table and this is this TBA underscore users this is from one database and this is from another database now at the last point we have to understand before closing this video is that if I comment this line and inside this database.php we have another variable something called active query builder it has a value called true this represents about the true value represents it means that we are going to use our active record something called insert method inside this code igniter application if suppose we make it as a false value let's say that false now no longer it going to use about these keywords something called this db insert it means that active record query is no longer we can use or access inside this application because we have passed as a false value so back here reload this page now as we have errors something called undefined property db and something all the errors what we have and the first error something about the database connection back to site model and if I make it as a comment uncomment this line now reload this page as we have error something called call to undefined method CIDB MySQL and insert method this is our active method now inside this database.php this variable is also useful it means that if we are not going to use any of the active methods inside application make it as a false means you are going to use about raw queries but if we are going to use about active methods then in that condition we have to make it as a true value so if I save this file back here reload this page now all the records has been inserted what we have supplied in the insert method so basically guys inside this video session we had discussed a lot more about this database.php file where we had discussed about several keys inside this connection strings and also we have seen that how can we use multiple databases in inside a single application so if you have any doubt inside this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day